had made a bold decision to force his son to conquer his fear even if he screamed out loud, making everyone believe he was the worst dad ever. Little did they know, after experiencing his first free fall, the boy's fear turned into excitement. However, as a consequence, now it has become a new challenge to convince him to stop playing. Subscribe. When his son was par- All right. I pledge my heart. To the rainbow. To the rainbow. Of the not-so-typical gay camp. Of the not-so-typical gay camp. One camp. One camp. Full of pride. Full of pride. Indivisible. Indivisible. Yes, ma'am. Well, I totally respect the courage um, the comrade had when they spoke about the trauma. I would like to ask people to please use trigger warnings. Thank you. Um, I would ask the same. Hi, my name is Erica. I use they, them pronouns. I'm from Lincoln, Nebraska. Go Morning ahead. Person, um, Cassandra, she, her from Metro DC. Um, people are really crowding the aisles. Okay. Uh, it'd be really nice if we could get, if we could limit it to like six people for and six people against mm -hmm. um, actually standing up so that we can actually see what's going on in the room. Thank you, comrade. So much poop on the sidewalks of San Francisco. Poop. No. If genitals don't define gender, why does removing them affirm it? A, a person uh, will feel more affirmed if, if they change their genitals and it'll help affirm them societally. Would you say then genitals don't do define gender? No, I don't think You'd so. still say no. No. So what do you have to say to the person that says you are what you're born with and you just need to accept it? it again the government is my baby daddy the minute that they took my right away to decide if i wanted this little crotch goblin or not was the minute that they took over the role of my baby daddy that's the minute they took on the role of paying for my formula of providing food in my house and for that tax refund mm -hmm. because the government is our baby daddy we love baby daddy uncle sam i've said it before and i will say it again the government is my baby daddy the minute that they took my right away to so hard to make it known that i am for the girls like i have the nails i do fun fruity femme makeup i have the literal trans flag on my eyes right now you think this is for a man never so i don't know what else to do but from a trans lesbian happy pride and i promise i'm f and yesterday i text her and i said hey i I can't get past the fact that you all are no longer masking, like, with everything that's happening in the world right now, with COVID, with RSV, with measles, with everything that's coming back, 
not masking is wild behavior to me. Like I, community care is important to me. I need to know that the people in my life care about their health and the health of the people around them. To which I received a three and a half page dissertation justifying their behavior. Including classics such as, we're not breaking any rules. We're doing way better than everyone else around us. We don't go anywhere if we feel sick. My personal favorite was um, paraphrased, you couldn't possibly understand because you don't have kids. It's illogical to expect children to continue masking and stay in lockdown. So I responded and I said, you know, as I already stated, it's your choice to make. I'm sure you will do everything you can to keep your family safe. The best thing for me right now is to take a step away from this relationship. I love you all, but I have to take care of myself first and foremost. I hope you understand. And she said, sure, I can't force you to stay. And I'm telling you this because I know I'm not the only one out here who is dealing with, struggling with people in their lives that they care about very much, that are no longer taking mitigation efforts. I can't have people in my life that make me feel unsafe. And they live on the other coast, but that's not the point. The point is if I had the option to be around them right now, I couldn't because I wouldn't feel safe. real and I do not care what the media tells you I don't care what the comments say at the end of the day I'm living experience there is however this weird phenomenon though of being the first trans woman that a guy has ever been with because I'm telling you right now there comes some weird obsession like you almost become this objectified mythical creature that they cannot get the experiences they have with you with anybody else no matter how many women they go and they sleep with or they date or they whatever the case may be they always run back to you because the feeling that you give them is something that nobody else can because you are letting them be authentic